Oh, I'm all out of music. Now what do I do? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all of our reviews and how-to videos so you can be the pro on all the latest audiophile gear right here at Moon Audio. So today we're going to be talking about BT Sync or Bluetooth Sync, which is available on the latest SP2000T, the SE180, and the SR25 Mark II music players. Essentially what this does is it allows you to connect an external device where you have a local music library, connect it via Bluetooth to your DAP and play it at the highest Bluetooth codecs available. So for instance, if you have music stored locally on your phone or on your laptop, in theory, you would connect that via Bluetooth sync to your DAP. It's a pretty straightforward process. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So step one, you're gonna wanna go to your settings menu in your AK player. Go to settings, go to Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on. You'll see Bluetooth sync mode pops up. You'll wanna click that, which enables Bluetooth DAC mode. You'll see Bluetooth turns off for a moment, but then it'll turn itself back on. Now you have it available. When Bluetooth sync mode is enabled, any device currently connected will be disconnected. So essentially, now what you're gonna do, don't look at my passcode. Go to your Bluetooth settings in your phone or on your laptop or wherever your local music files are stored. Go to Bluetooth, other devices, you will see the SP2000T pop up. You're gonna to wanna to connect that. Pair it. Now you'll go to your local music and you'll see whatever codec it's transmitting in will pop up here. If it's LDAC, it'll say LDAC, SBC, Aptex, whatever it is. Right now we just have a low res AAC file from iTunes. Um, again, keep in mind that you can't use the DAP while it's in BT sync mode. So all your music on here, you won't be able to get to because you're literally just accessing your music on your external device. So all your controls are gonna be from your phone in this case. Keep that in mind. Now BT Sync is only going to be a special case for when you want to access uh, music files stored locally on a separate device. You're not gonna really wanna stream CoBuzz per se on your phone only to listen to it through the DAP because you can just stream CoBuzz directly from the DAP itself. This is going to be used in special cases where you wanna access local storage files, music files, on an external device because say your DAP is already full of music. Uh, it's gonna be used in special cases only. So this is just a general overview of how to use BT Sync with the latest Estelle and Kern DAPs, the SP2000T, the SE180, and the SR25 Mark II. If you want more how-to videos like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all of our latest audio file reviews and videos right here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.